In this example, we're given function f and function g. We're asked to evaluate f of negative one minus g of negative one. Because the input into both functions is the same, the input is negative one for function f and function g, there are actually two methods for evaluating this. The most obvious method is probably to determine the value of f of negative one, determine the value of g of negative one, and then find the difference. So we're going to start by doing it this way, and then we'll talk about a second method. So to find the value of f of negative one, we're going to replace x with negative one in function f. So we'd have two times negative one squared minus negative one plus three minus, now we'll substitute negative one for x in function g. So we'll have negative one squared minus two times negative one minus five. And now we'll simplify. So here we'd have negative one squared, that's positive one, times two, that's two. Minus negative one is the same as plus one, plus three, minus negative one squared is positive one. Negative two times negative one is positive two, so plus two minus five. Two plus one plus three is six, minus one plus two is three, minus five is negative two. Well, six minus negative two is the same as six plus two, so this is equal to eight. So f of negative one minus g of negative one is equal to eight. Now let's talk about a second method for finding the same value. One property of functions states that f of x minus g of x is equal to f minus g of x. So because the inputs, so because these two inputs are the same, this is telling us that we can first subtract the two functions and then replace x with negative one into the difference of the two functions. So this difference is equal to f minus g of negative one. Again, this only works if the input into both functions is the same. So let's go ahead and find the difference of the two functions and then we'll use that function to determine this function value. Keeping in mind, we know it should be equal to eight. So f minus g is gonna be equal to the quantity two x squared minus x plus three minus g, which is the quantity x squared minus two x minus five because we have a subtraction here, we need to be careful. We'll think of distributing a one here and distributing a negative one here to clear the parentheses. So we would have two x squared minus x plus three and then minus x squared plus two x plus five. Now we'll combine our like terms. Again, this is f minus g. So we have two x squared minus one x squared, that's equal to x squared. Negative one x plus two x plus one x or plus x. And three plus five is equal to eight. So to determine our function value, we can now use this function and replace x with negative one. So we'd have negative one squared plus negative one plus eight, so it'd be positive one plus negative one plus eight, which of course is equal to eight, the same answer we had using the first method. F of negative one minus G of negative one is equal to F minus G of negative one, which is equal to eight. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.